uh, the NOE fracture, you have to understand, yeah, uh, before the bowstring test, you have to understand the anatomy, isn't it? So, in NOE fracture, what is NOE fracture? That is naso orbital ethmoidal. So, where exactly is this nasal? Where exactly is orbital and where is ethmoidal? So, you know this part is in nasal. Okay, naso is there. And you've got this inner area or I would say before that orbital. So, orbital. Okay, so you get naso orbital and this particular inner area is called the ethmoid bone or you can if in this section the nose nasal bone is removed so you can see this this is the ethmoid so it's shown ethmoid no ethmoid bone and this is a cribriform plate fracture of this causes what csf rhinorrhea so remember that noe fracture can cause the csf rhinorrhea because this cribriform plate will fracture Okay, so in Leaford 3 also you can see this entire area getting fractured. We have gone in detail of it in our one of our lectures, so I am not going into that. Leaford 1, 2, 3. But this one here, yes, this is very important to understand this, this area. Okay, naso orbito ethmoidal bone. Okay, this is the area where you get the fracture, this area. So we will we'll understand the classification also in the this particular session. Now, a very important feature of NOE fracture is the telecanthus. What is telecanthus? It's an increased distance between the medial canthi of the eye, so or the corners of the eye. So between this and this, because when there is a ZMC fracture, there is spread out in this direction because it's compromising the NOE bone, isn't it? So the, this distance increases. So what they say is, if so normal value of the uh, intercanthal distance or media, this distance between the medial canthi is basically uh, 35 mm and anything greater than 35 mm should raise a suspicion that is there is a fracture. Now what is diagnostic? That is a greater than 40 mm, okay, if the intercanthal distance is greater than 40 mm, it is considered to be diagnostic for NOE fracture or so this is traumatic telecanthus I told you it is seen in NOE fracture it is also seen in leaf 3 because I have told you this leaf 3 goes you know it just goes and can reach out through the uh, Z this particular ethmoid bone region so that is why it's, you also see what CSF rhinorrhea okay so it can go up whereas leaf 2 is much below Okay, though if it is going like too severe and inside, then only you get some CSF rhinorrhea. Still, it is not compromising most of the time. It is not compromising ethmoid bone. So, you don't see traumatic telecanthus here. So, traumatic telecanthus is seen in two fractures. One is NOE, no doubt why it is seen and also in LIFO3 because it is also being uh, affecting this particular ethmoid bone region. Okay, now. The next point, if it is a severe NOE, you also get CSF rhinorrhea and I have told you it is also seen in LIPO3 now. Again, if it is very deep and it is compromising and going into the posterior, the middle cranial fossa or kind of a posterior cranial fossa region, it can affect uh, the fracture and it can even lead to a uh, CSF rhinorrhea in LIFO2 fractures, very rare, very rare, LIFO3 is majorly. So now here you have to understand one concept. Why I written this LIFO3 first? In the option, if it gives LIFO3, LIFO2, which one will you select? LIFO3. If it is given both A and B, yes, you can go for both A and B, fine. But if both the options are given, no doubt you have to select LIFO3. Okay, because that is where you actually see. Some textbooks say that it is also seen in LIFO2. Okay, so ideally if you just see the, the, the osteotomy or the, the fracture region, or fracture anatomy of LIFO2, you will not you will be feeling that okay, there is no CSF rhinorrhea. Now, so this is very important to understand two features of NOE which is having its connection with LIFO fractures. That is the traumatic telecanthus with LIFO3 and uh, CSF rhinorrhea again with LIFO3 and little bit of LIFO2. Now, where do you confuse with this with ZMC? Do you have these two features in ZMC? No, in ZMC. The feature, the, fly, the feature you see is diplopia, double vision, okay, because the ZMC fracture is much more affecting in the 
zygomaticum maxillary so it can come in this region and it is it is affecting the muscles rather than the ligaments so if there is muscles being affected you get or even nerves being affected you get diplopia also seen in lifford 2 and 3 so remember csf rhinorrhea 2 and 3 diplopia 2 and 3 what makes the actual difference csf of rhinorrhea is seen in noe the diplopia is seen in zmc so you should never ever forget from now onwards what the differences okay now